President Donald Trump was hit with a spray of shouted questions on Wednesday evening in Vietnam, including one about his former fixer Michael Cohen's salacious testimony, as North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un sat alongside him, chuckling and looking bemused at the media outburst. Minutes later, the White House barred four American journalists from covering their next event. The decision to clamp down on media coverage of the historic summit sparked outrage among the White House press corps and prompted immediate accusations that the White House was punishing journalists for asking the president uncomfortable questions. This summit provides an opportunity for the American presidency to display its strength by facing vigorous questioning from a free and independent news media, not telegraph weakness by retreating behind arbitrary last-minute restrictions on coverage, White House Correspondents Association President Olivier Knox said in a statement, adding that the group strenuously objects to the capricious decision. Ultimately, just one print reporter from the pool of 13 journalists that shadow the president on foreign trips was allowed into the subsequent dinner meeting between Trump and Kim. Reporters from all three wire services, the Associated Press, Reuters, and Bloomberg, as well as a fourth reporter from the Los Angeles Times were blocked from the meeting. Past White Houses have often fought for increased access for American journalists while the U. S. President was traveling abroad in an effort to underscore the importance of a free press. Scott McClellan, President George W. Bush's former press secretary, said Trump's move on Wednesday was alarming. The leader of the free world clamping down on the free press in front of a dictator. Terrible optics, McClellan told Politico. Even more terrible message. Trump has repeatedly disparaged reporters by name and branded news outlets he doesn't like enemies of the people.